Good morning, children. Here we are into our last poem of our syllabus. My brother built a robot. This is the last poem. Let us go through the poem and go into the explanation. Okay. Yes, coming to page number one sixty-five. How many of you like robot children? Imagine yourself if you are have a robot at home. Many of the cartoons we have seen, isn't it? I also have seen a ca cartoon where a boy is having a robot and the robot is helping him in his all his work. If you could imagine, if you had a robot, what you would have made with the robot? Yes, always a robot is a machine. It doesn't know to do things of its own. Isn't it? Yes. Sometimes any program has been mistake inside the robot, or any wrong button has been pressed inside the robot. What will happen to the robot? It will do things which are completely wrong. Isn't it? Yes. Let us see who is this boy here and what did his brother do for the robot. Let us see going into the poem. My brother built a robot that does not exactly work. As soon as it was finished, it began to go brisk. Its eyes grew incandescent and its nose appeared to gleam. It bellowed unbeingly and its ears emitted steam. So here he says his brother built a robot. Which exactly did not do the correct works. Exact what it has to do, it did not do. Exactly when the um, robot was being finished, that is the making of the robot is over, it began to go brisk. That means very fast, without any control. It went very fast. We would have seen some cartoons, no? As soon as you turn this head, the robot turns, turns, and makes a round and comes in front. Yes, even this robot also went went very brisk, and its eyes glow incandescent. That means it was very bright. The eyes of the robot started growing bright and bright and bright. Okay, and its nose appeared to gleam. That is nose base very becoming like glowing. It was glowing there. Okay, its bellowed unbeingly. Unbeingly means it was very angrily behaving it was like very not very much not kind okay and its ears emitted steam emitting means give out okay you from the ears steam came out so it was very much sure that the robot was not being made properly let us look into the second para my robot built i'm sorry my brother built that robot to help us clean our room instead it ate the dust pan and attacked us with the broom it pulled apart our pillows and this helped both our beds it it took a box of crayons and it doomed on our heads so here it says my brother made that robot to help us to clean our room instead what the robot did it ate out the dust pan you know what is a dust pan where you take the dust into a pan yes after brooming it right yeah the dust pan was been eaten by the robot and it started attacking both the brothers with the broom everybody knows what a broom is right yeah with the broom the it started attacking the both the brothers it pulled apart a pillow so once the pillow is been pulled out you know what happens all the cotton inside the pillow will start flying in the entire room yes so it pulled apart a pillows and this held both our beds even the beds were been removed away this help that is messed up the entire bed was been removed completely and he took a box full of crayons and put it on there heads so it it was behaving completely rude let us go into the third para that robot seemed relevant less as it tied our socks in knots than clunked into the kitchen 
and dismantled pans and pots the thing was not behaving in the fashion we had planned it clanked into the bathroom it filled the tub with sand so the robot did not know exactly what to be done properly also the room robot was looking he says the robot seemed unrelevant less that means it seemed means it was looking as if it is not willing to come up with us okay it is not a what it is not according going according to what we wanted to do it at all okay it put the no, it took the socks and started putting the knots and went into the kitchen and removed all the pots pans everything it put it down and just you know what happens when a pot pan everything is been removed usually when the girls are asked to arrange the kitchen pans they reject isn't it when mummy or someone washes the vessels and mummy says that just arrange them in the cupboards they don't like it because the the bout will be full of vessels and they don't want to arrange it also sometimes it happens and sometimes we have even the boys who arrange it isn't it they just arrange in a neat manner all the plates to one corner all the tumblers to one corner on the spoons to one shelf like that all the glass vessels are separate isn't it we arrange it when everything has been mismatched oh we are in our bad temper happens right yes here now this robot went into the kitchen and dismantled the entire pans pots and everything so how the mood of the children would be yes this thing was not behaving in the fashion so it was completely into its own world it was just the spoiling everything that was already arranged actually they wanted the robot to help in cleaning but it was giving them a double work instead of the robot they had to start cleaning now now it went into the bathroom uh, going into the bathroom it filled the tub with sand so entire mud was been filled into the tubs usually we fill water instead here it started filling the sand into the bucket so let us see what is further we tried to disconnect it but it was to not to no avail it picked up picked us up and dropped us in an empty garbage pile we cannot stop the robot for we have stymied by one hitch our brother did not didn't bother to whip it with a switch so here now what happened they were completely tired they didn't know what to do now at least the ultimate thing was they have to disconnect the entire robot they were trying to disconnect the robot now what happens it was not to avail that means they were not able to that means whatever they tried they were unable to disconnect it so instead now what uh, now the robot has got angry so what it is doing them it is picking one by one and putting them down throwing them here and there and at last what the robot did it put them into the garbage pile that is the that you get a cover right for to put the garbage yes and they are thinking that they are thank to god that it was an empty garbage pile into an empty garbage bag the robot has put both the brothers and now he says i am unable to stop the robot because we are stymied that means we are trying to run away from it instead of doing to stop that because once the robot sees us it is going to throw you here and there so better to get caught in the robot's hand we are trying to hide ourselves okay by one hitch hitch means one getting out of the problem so once to get rid of this problem we are hiding ourselves instead of trying to go and control it now he says the ultimate we didn't know what to exactly do and he says my brother did not bother he didn't think of anything else he started beating the robot with the wire he started hitting the robot with the wire thinking that at least by that let the robot break into pieces okay the last ultimate was see this is what happens 
when you depend on a machine to do your works isn't it even we can think of sometimes when our iron box when it is overheated even our clothes get what our clothes get burnt away isn't it if you have any mismatch with your washing machine yes it will the your clothes will start rounding more and more of course it happens right sometimes if your grinder is i'm sorry your mixer is not working you may get a shock that happens with all the electronic machines but the entire robot you are making with uh, electronic machine you are going to make it and ask him to do all your works obviously your work will go mismatched itself isn't it yes this is a small poem written by jack prelescai he is a american poet who wrote lots of humorous poems for children we know what is humorous poems right funny and a, a poem which has lots of jokes in it which makes the children laugh here is also a poem which makes you laugh isn't it he says that as a children as a child he did not enjoy poetry and so as an adult he hopes to write poetry to entertain children so he says when he was a small child he did not any he did not enjoy any poem that would make him f- feel happy yes now as he become adult he says that i would write poem to entertain children it also it is also said that he failed in english three times in college can you believe that oh he is such a good poet he says that he failed in english that is also a good example children that is to say failure is the beginning of success whoever has a failure in the first epis it is not that we will fail again and again it is said that try and try again until you succeed so any failure can be taken as positively and you can expect to succeed in the next step yes yes with a good thought and a good story we will end up the poem now and now would we will say this is the end of our entire syllabus we will wait for the notes to be sent to you and get back to the revisions yes children by the end of this we end up the session here until then have a good day